Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots raise their battles to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers. Well, I figured you'd have to call on us eventually. Indeed, Dragonus Prime, we were half worried you were involved. Max and I would head up the new task force, but I'm engaged to Lisa. So we'll count Rick Hunter out on this one. Exactly what is this one? Now, it's going to be really confusing if I use this body. I should revert to my old one using a displacer cloak. Yeah, that would be a little confusing. Well, Slipstream and I are two of the original crew for the first mission. Uh, I don't even know what Night Racer's up to. What exactly is our plan? Well, Hot Link, we're going to lasso us and escape in battle focus. Are you out of your minds? Hmm, seems that way. I will accompany them. So that's such a good idea, Lady Hawk? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, she'll be protected in the battle armor. No sign of the green Megatron in this case. You don't suppose he's in on it. I don't think the Decepticons are directly involved, Max. Oh, how do you figure? Well, many of the Decepticon leaders in Siege were with us during the battle. Doesn't mean their subordinates aren't ordered to do it. Now so that ridiculous sect organization. Yeah, it was kind of lame, but amusing. So what's the plan, Chief? Windblade, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Somehow, I doubt that. Yeah, we've been spending the last couple months in quarantine preparing something. Yep, it's going to be prime. Are the preparations ready now, Draconis? Yep, Lady Hawk, it is. Yeah, hoo-ah! Put numbers last ditch effort to put that full device on the shuttle. Gave us an opportunity. Oh yeah, B, for what? Well, it turns out with a few adjustments, it's compatible with our tech. Wouldn't that in effect leave the Area 51 ship vulnerable? We'll bring it back when we're done with it. <laughs> Don't think the humans would go for that. Not as if this meeting actually took place. You mean just lie and say the Decepticons thrashed it or something? You see any guards that would protest here? Not yet, but somebody's sure to show up. It's not right. If our plan is to succeed, we must be fast and secret. We can explain later. We'll accomplish our mission. Who wants to come? The security cameras are going to pick up all this, you know. We're in a top-secret U.S. government facility. By the time they analyze it, we're long gone. It seems a little morally wrong of us. Well, look at it this way. They were going to steal our tech. Some are going to steal theirs. You think this sect is behind the theft of the other ship? Oh yeah, they're involved. And if national security has anything to say about it, we have to worry about the Legion Maximo. The Legion Maximo, who backed all this? But really, it's the Legion Maximo? Well, the first SDF is a battle fortress. They could do a lot of damage with that. If it is them, got another reason to stop them. Then let's do it. hoo -ah. Hold on a second. Where are you going to get ship? Explain to me what's going on. She's already here. hoo -ah. Oh, that's just prime. Carter and Autobots who are coming, let's go. Who uh <laughs> let's roll.
Rain Megatron, you're coming too? Indeed, this concerns all of our forces. Half the decks of the ship aren't even inhabitable. Where am I going to sleep? She probably should have figured out before, that out before she signed on. Optimus Prime sends his word and says, Good luck. This mission's feeling a little fated to me. <laughs> Don't jinx it or I will kill you. Yeah, look, Max's Carta's back. That you are, Max's Carta. Weapon systems are online and operational. The drive system's got a few hiccups in it, but it'll work. Wasn't there another wheeljack on this ship? Yeah, but he wasn't available, so I'm going to attempt to fill his shoes. Welcome aboard, everyone. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, this should be a fun trip. Pinpointed the coordinates of that space fold over Atari Island. How'd you do that? Well, something a few miles long is about to appear as an anomaly somewhere. Oh, yeah? Where are they? You won't like it, Draconis. Nope, but tell me. The long ground is point, Cybertron. Cybertron sensors didn't pick it up? Well, that seems awfully weird. Maybe they figured out how to cloak something that big. Still there. Let's go get him. Yeah, we need that protocol chamber to mass produce parts of the space cure. Another reason for me to attend. You're not going to go in there torturing them, Megatron. Uh huh. Of course not. But persuasion is always useful. Uh huh. Prepare to move out. Well, I won't keep you with a long-winded speech. Let's get it going. Helmet controls ready and online, sir. Navigation controls ready, sir. Engines ready, Captain. Communications ready. Medical team standing by. I could probably use that paradorn. Yeah, you probably can. Well, let's get out of here before the army shows up. Autobots, Decepticons, and Carta, prepare to go. Helm ready. Engage. Really, we have to go back there. You've never run from a challenge. Or actually, it's one of them. She's down there. Oh, well, that's just prime. Well, at least she can't really become a Gestalt. But, so by coming here to help you, we've essentially formed a neutral alliance. Looks that way. Hold on a second, this was our mission. I know, all these antiquated Robotech chests showed up. Yeah, it's like they're muscling in on our job. Yeah, I mean, they used the space bridge in secret and everything. How did, how did they know? I know, it wasn't one of us that leaked it. I could blame the other two girls, but they're on the other ship that's after us. And we haven't been in communication with them. We are approaching Cybertron. Excellent, prepare to disembark. Alita 1, is it? I am Peripheral. And I am Rookus. And I am Aerial Flight. And you're some of the Warbirds. That's right, but our leader's on the other ship. So we're going to go down to the planet and meet with her later. I guess we'd have to. Are you okay with letting your guys be in charge of this thing? Oh, we trust them implicitly. Uh, yes, it's not like we need the Robotech ship. Yeah, we were recreated from our earlier generation of robots. I don't know if I like the idea of letting them guard it, Alita. Yeah, who are they, really? I'm assuming they're neutral rebels, assume kind. I'm just going to sit here and guard the ship while you guys go on the mission to find the Energon cubes. And who are you? I am Nuclea. You shouldn't worry about it. And I am Shadowbat. She totally should worry about it. There are Decepticons down there. Oh, we can handle Decepticons. And what do you think we gave up our smaller exosuits to come here and do this? Oh, and who are you two? You want our covers or our real names? I would prefer your covers. This is an undercover operation. Very well. I will go by Nightingale. I won't reveal my name just yet. Okay, then. Shall we put together an away team, Alita? You bet. We Fems and some of you guys. And we will all meet on the planet. Now, are you, uh, you going to leave us in charge? Are you sure that's a good idea, ma'am? I think you can handle it. Uh, she'll come and hunt us down. Very well. <laughs> Let's move out. I guess it all started over those Energon cubes, those silly Energon cubes. It's going to be one of those stories, isn't it? Eh, it's a long story. Maybe by the time the others get here, you'll be done telling it. Very funny, I'll leave it. I have a singular wit, peripheral. I try to keep mine in check. Well, you're young and impressionable. Indeed, because I borrowed this mecha for the mission. We'll make sure nothing bad happens to you. <laughs> well, I can't make any promises. That's great. <laughs> I tried to add fun on some of our underground missions. Heard about those. Heard you raided a Decepticon Depot one. It's a big ugly thing. Yeah, just because I could. Well, I probably wouldn't do that without plenty of arms. Speaking of lacking arms, where is our security? Well, you have these head lasers. But, eh, it's not going to do much. Maybe the others will be here shortly. We came down in a few different ships just to throw things off. Yeah. Huh. We would be minding our own business, but uh, there's two Decepticons up ahead. We're not going to give up our energy to them. Besides, they're pretty small. Hey, what are you three doing here? We're on a clandestine mission, Skycrash. Trying to pretend to be a neutral, but you're clearly an Autobot. Well, they're not Autobots. No, they're Robotics. Your lead guard, perhaps? No, not really. I wonder what these Decepticons want. Come this way, you're entering Decepticon territory. We're not Energon scavengers, if that's what you're thinking. 
Nope, you're not reading my mind. We can't actually do that. Now we're not in it or something. I don't think I know any. <laughs> nah, it's probably for the best. Lots well, of supply depot. Seen one, seen them all. There's probably more of these femmes on the planet. Maybe it's a fem convention. Well, I don't really care. I'm not really protecting the energy anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> well, clearly we're more intimidating. We're not intimidated. Oh, no, no. Sure you're not. I'm Thunderwing again, and my two pretender friends are back as well. Yeah, I didn't seem right as pretending to be you guys. Yeah, taking over your body shells was a little weird. Now we're making up for it, so you three can be you again. Yeah, but we're really tiny. Now I've gone back to being me. Little pretender guys are about higher height. Shouldn't we be finding our other friends? We'll get along with that shortly. Now that I'm in charge of you two, we're neutrals, I guess. We're pretenders, or combiner wars, technically. But your space partner, Kitty Key, was killed. Well, as Dreadwing and Darkwind, sure. Oh, yeah. Well, the others are probably up that way. The supply depot up here. They're probably scrounging for Android cubes. We know how Alita likes that kind of thing. I guess we'll tag along. <laughs> Might as well. Nobody in charge around here. That is weird. Maybe they left figuring that nobody would try to take the planet. You kid? You think that? Your perfect opportunity for an alien invasion if they came up for one. That's cheery thought. Yeah, I thought you were the pessimistic one. <laughs> no. Mini Dinobots front and center. Me Grimlock front and center. Me Sludge not know what front and center. Me Chop no. Me Slag not know why we say me all the time when we actually smart. Me Swoop think we are programmed to be goofy. Me Snarl not like being programmed. Ah, many Dinobots. That's weird. You're not the Myriad anymore. No, she relieved me of my obligations. I'm now back to being me. We all got released. Thunderwing and Pretender smaller than Grimlock. Grimlock not fight. Just as well, eh? Oh no, it looks like we have security detail around here. Great. Me slag not feel like security detail. Me swoop not either. Me Grimlock say we protect storage depot. But was former Decepticon storage depot. Uh, till we receive other orders, we do this. You gotta be kidding, what for? Maybe they got nothing better to do today. Ah, well, I guess so. So I see the human occupants have left the mini transformers. Yes, Night Racer, we were released from our obligations. I see, now do you know where your former partners went? And now, since we're neutrals, I can kind of tell you. They went to the left. My left or your left? My left. That always confuses me. Hmm, <laughs> Dinobots go with Night Racer? Yes, I think it is best we do this. Here we go. Dinobots move. Dinobots move, but not show it. <laughs> it is better having my mind freed up from that human. I know what you mean. They are so emotional. Don't I know it? <laughs> Where do you think you're going, little one? I've taken down bigger creeps than you. It's true, you have. You're a legend. We've come to bring in mini-robots back to you, Megatron. Mini-robots? I see. I'm Sky Shadow again, Megatron. I'm Dreadwind again, Megatron. And I am Thunderwing again, Megatron. Great. So don't you think I have better things to do than hang out with you guys? Last time we saw you, you almost allied with the Autobots. Yes, barely to get out of that situation. Ah, there you are. I see there's a bit of a reunion going on. Yeah, well, what? You must be the infamous Rakshi. My name precedes me. How about yours? I am Peripheral. Like the eyesight or the plant. I hadn't thought about it. She chose a name that just sounded cool. Yeah, you got it. I have no quarrel with all of you. You only want the Energon cubes we stole? Well, since we stole them in the first place, no. This has been a weird day. I give you three orders. Oh yeah, Megs? What's that? I order you to terminate the neutrals that left. Terminate them? How, sir? Do not question me. It'll give you something to do. As you command, Megatron. The neutrals are escaping with our stolen energon cubes. You let some of them go. My dear. But why, Megatron? Do not question me. Do you wish to know what we saw that influenced the humans? I do. You will tell me everything. But a lot of backup data they didn't get a hold of. Excellent. The foolish humans. I'm assuming that each of you has a wealth of information. Tactical plans of the SDF ship the Rebels already stole, sir? The Rebels? Ah, yes. The Warbirds. The Rebels that took the ship aren't technically the Warbirds. I don't care what technicality it is, just so they have the ship. They're not going to give it to you, Megatron. I know that, but it will distract the Autobots from my plan. Ah, excellent, Megatron. What do you have, Dreadwing? Mostly boring music and concert data. No codes embedded in it. Concert data? Yes, apparently my human parasite was a singer. It's completely useless here. We're only working Robotech. And only the Robotech in which the timeline didn't have the internet. And you have tactical data, Sky Shadow? Oh, yes, I do, on the Autobots' whereabouts and the flying vehicles. Excellent. Uh, we should go now, Megatron. Yes, find the neutrals in the underground. Spy on them. We want to terminate them, sir? If you have the opportunity, take it. Yes, sir. <laughs>
We failed to terminate the neutral. We're all gonna get our hides tanned if he finds out. Uh oh, the neutrals are in here. Aye, what's going on? I'll have the usual. Aye, Thunderwing, it's been ages. It is, but I'm back now. The usual then? Does that usually give you the runs? The usual. Coming right up, the customer's always right. Where's one of the beast planet I heard about that? It was for a while, and I'm here again. I see. What the heck's going on in here? If there's a neutral is armed, where'd you find that gun? Same place I found this gun. Shall we make it a party? Hold on a minute, I'm in the middle of this. Being neutrals, we shouldn't shoot each other. Well, it's been a weird day. What is going on? These are minibots have gone back to the Decepticon. Just as well, the whole pretender thing was a little creepy. Wait a second, weren't you pretending to? I'm just 18, I didn't know any better. You are 18 several months ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's the usual. <laughs> Thank ya. Oh. Uh. Why did he do that? You're asking me? I told him not to do it. It's a message from Ladyhawk. Greetings, my friends. It's been a long time since I've gone out of touch with all of you. As for you guys, but I don't really know you. I think the message is addressed to me. Everybody else in the room can see it. Everyone else in the room but you. Shut up. Yes, you know the beat from that song was actually stolen from the play Grease, right? Eh, uh, eh, uh, no. Well, I knew that. In any case, Lady Hawk, report. The plans I initiated had failed. We started a few Vorns earlier, it would have worked. What plan is that? The war between the Transformers is obliterating our civilization. That's a given. The war is accelerating exponentially to an inevitable doom. And the timelines of the multiverse are converging? How's that even possible? That's not quite it, no. Many Transformers were created after the war, but... Many do not remain who were born before it. Indeed, the war will continue and consume the planets of the Cybertronian. But we're using this robotechnology. How would you know that? Lexius, my bond partner, had told me this. I see. I have one of those too. Well, we had those things inside us, but they were just humans using our exoshells. The Headmaster and Pretender initiatives were only temporary. And you're operating from a ship that came looking for us? That's right, a transformer ship. How can we judge our lives based on war or peace? It's too soon to know the outcome. We cannot predict it. Can we fight it? No, young one. You cannot fight destiny. We don't share a culture beyond war. We will discuss this later. Yes, I look forward to it. I am now signing off. Don't mind me. I was just hiding under the airships not to get shot at. Sure you were. It could be worse. There could be a bunch of Autobots in here. Well, thank goodness for you, there aren't. We were following orders here, but sometimes orders are stupid. This is humiliating. <laughs> Tell me about it. Man, this day just keeps getting worse and worse. I don't know, it's kind of an improvement for me. Oh, come on. That's saying a lot. Yeah. Perhaps we should do some reconnaissance. Yeah. Gladly, but the neutrals are still standing right in front of us. We could go look for more Energon depots. Uh, maybe. Are the other Femmes here? Yes, most of them, and a few more will be joining. Yeah, they kind of left me on their last mission. <laughs> Did they? For some reason, it's like that Buster girl I heard about. It's me, I'm in this Veritech. Well, that's confusing. Don't I know it. I take it that you three are no longer being piloted by humans. That's right. We are no longer being piloted by humans. It was a little weird. So you guys should stick around or retreat? We could go with you, I guess. That wasn't what I asked. She wants us to retreat. How humiliating. My fellow Decepticons, we don't want to make any trouble. Not here. Then move out. Mike Earth's got a lot of spunk, I'm telling you. Yeah, it seems like a setup to me. He's part of that combiner. We're not actually going to see any combining in this movie. But um bum tsh. The screen is on again. Citizens of Cybertron, a dark day has come, my fellow Cybertronians. But she's a Robotech. Shush. Many of our friends have died in pointless battles. A day when they've seemingly lost their homes and their livelihood. By virtue of our birth, the right of Cybertronians is to live in peace. How can they have peace if they have constant war? The fight for the right of all Cybertronians. Only when it isn't stomping on someone else's. Look around you at the dark places where you're hiding. Is broadcasting everywhere? Yes, we are broadcasting everywhere. And she can directly hear us like last time. Quite right. How we live our days out? Should we scuttle around in the shadows? See the futility of war, but be prepared to fight it. What are they fighting for? Existence. Heavy existential mumbo-jumbo come in here. Ah, uh, don't discourage the masses. But you're a robotech. My transtector is a Cybertronian. Oh, okay. I've seen many horrors, but this I dare say is the worst. What's the worst? The destruction of the Maximo Cybertronians. Oh, that, yeah. That was weird. They are not all gone, you know. I didn't know. People of Cybertron, we face a greater threat. Well, they did fight a monster planet one. That was silly, but yes. What are your orders, ma'am? It's for those of you at the Cyber Bar, meet up with the Fems. Yes, ma'am. They're gonna buy anything, are they? Nah, she's gone. Uh-oh. 
My fellow Decepticons, there is only one piece, and that is through tyranny. Megatron hacked into the channel. You Autobots are foolish to send Regis Maximus back here in orbit. We're not Autobots. People in the bar, that's weird. I will be sending a task force to eliminate you. They were here, but they left. What? Incompetence. They were a little flighty. Uh, how dare they? Megatron, you're over there. We're here. I could be where you are shortly, but I'm not going to bother. Assuming he has other plans. The female from earlier was right. The Maximo defeat did crush our plans. I see, so you're probably making new ones. Yes, of course, but I will not divulge them to neutral. Wouldn't expect you to, Megatron. Who are you two, anyway? I'm Peripheral, and this is Ruckus. Peripheral and Ruckus, named after ancient Sabatronian warriors. Yes, Megatron. Now what are we going to do? I will drop an airstrike bomb in the bar, let you clear out. I don't think he's bluffing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> None shall oppose me. Hey, can I come with you guys? Sure, why not? I've got a new song. Would you like to hear it? No, I would not. Hey, didn't the other Megatron order you to slag those neutrals? It just means we have to redouble our efforts to destroy them. No, we weren't able to stop him. Yeah, he couldn't. He was relieving himself all over the bar floor. Shut up. Blowing up the bots makes sense. I guess you three failed. Then. They've been sufficiently cycled for now, sir. Good. We might not have to deal with them yet. You should deal with the neutrals as you would deal with the Autobots. Dismissed. Thank you, sir. You're afraid of the newts. <laughs> Shut up, Dreadwood. They're scarier than you. What's the point of making more enemies? That's stupid. You're just afraid of the big, bad, scary empties. It's a good thing they don't order me back to that bar. Megatron's gonna blow it up. Shut up, he didn't. Do we have to confine you three quarters, or can you stand down on your own? We'll do nothing of the sort. Time is appropriate. I'll relay them to Thunderwing. The neutral shouldn't be our concern. Then who should? Hey, maybe the Autobots? Yeah, you guys can go. Yeah, we're not doing anything right now, anyway. Sisters, we have been a daring raid on the facility. Long live the neutrals and the Autobots. Oh wow, it's you guys. We are here. Citizens, our great victory will show the Decepticon. If the Autobots are all allied with the neutrals, didn't that make us not neutrals anymore? We were ready for this contingency. Decepticons! Then it begins. Flee, scatter, hide forthwith. Thunderwing, it's Thunderwing. Yes, it is I, Thunderwing. Run, run, get out of here. Wait a minute, let's not flee. Stand our ground. Ladyhawk, get down. Don't you worry about me, see yourself. Blasted, quote, spouting fool. Insolent neutrals, you dare challenge the Decepticon order. How dare you for offending us. Will you shut up for a minute? Do you not know how to speak without screaming? What are you doing, neutrals? Tell us or test our wrath. Yeah, we'll see who's the toughest. We know more about you than you do yourself. Yeah, I'm sure when they gave you guys back your personalities, they put some kind of kill switch in. And they did not. Autobots don't do that. I do not believe in such things. We've taken a small share of your energon, but you stole it anyway. All those weird broadcasts, what were they about? A diversion. All that defy the Decepticons will die. You should retreat with their troops, lest you use your careless weaponry. Enough of that silliness. You're an insolent, insane neutral. Insolent, maybe, but crazy, no. Tis for the gods to decide. No, really. Inspired, perhaps. <laughs> it's like this was written by that Rob Powers guy or something. I think it was. Don't make me blow your heads off. Decepticons, return to base immediately. We're higher rank than you. Thank you, thank you tremendously. Little bonkers, aren't you? Bonkers means crazy. I, I told you I'm not crazy. That's what a crazy person would say. Okay, we're gonna beat it for now, but this isn't over. Flee, fly away, birds, flee. Must you antagonize them even now? Yes, I enjoy it. You sound like a Decepticon than a neutral. No, I'm a neutral. Oh, peripheral, you're as composed as ever. And you're crazy, Ladyhawk. Tried to tell Thunderwing that I wasn't. Well, we all know the truth. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Well, it's one of your traits. <laughs> Thanks again. How are you all holding out? I'm quick and small, but able to stay in energy. <laughs> not bad. I hear a lot of crazy stuff's been happening. <laughs> no kidding. Poorly as the rest of them. Under the circumstances, this place appears to be in poverty. You think? It's possible, but we have to report back to the others eventually. What exactly is the end game, anyway? You tell me. You guys came here on a stolen ship. Yeah, well, about that. We haven't seen it in a while, but we didn't check. You don't know what happened to it. Some that big's bound to be around here somewhere. It's apparently only hitching a ride with the pirates. We had no intention of using the ship. That is a strange answer. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Hell. He's pissed. Great. That means we'll be chasing neutrals for the rest of time now. Aw, oh, man, you sure? Bet on some kind of vendetta mission. How do you figure? It's time for the whole warrior honor bit. His honor has us wasting time shooting guys who didn't even bother us. It wasn't bothering us until the afternoon, but then they suffered effortlessly. I guess he's got to be avenged. You think? You know how he is. Once he gets something in his head, no shaking. 
Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find the odds are good to shoot some neutrals soon. I wasn't worried. Some of the neutrals have decided to ally with the Autobots. Lady Megatron, what are your orders? We'll find neutrals of our own, and they will switch to our side. Well, the three of us rejoined you. It's not the same thing. Megatron, this is ridiculous. They keep raiding supply depots forever. Some are ridiculous than some of the Robotechs showing up, too. Well, one of them seems to lead their forces. And they're not connected to those in the Battle Fortress they stole. So how can we acquire Battle Fortress? We don't need that Battle Fortress. Besides, there's an Autobot in here, sir. Yeah, I'm right here. A very brazen Autobot. You want us to slag her? No, the other neutrals might come for her. And when we do, we trap them. <laughs> Buzzsaw, you are a neutral. You're in the Beast Wars. Oh, I didn't realize. Yes, you can go freely between the Autobots and Decepticons. I wonder why that is. We're all Cybertronians, but greater threats exist. Wasn't just propaganda from that lady? No, I've seen the Maximo and Centurion for myself. They were not finished. Then they will be coming. And if they do, we'll have to combine forces to stop them. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs>
am slain. One fusion blast cannon and it's over. Oh, quit being so melodramatic. He didn't barely even hit you. Oh, what? Yeah, he's trying to hit the other guy. Decepticons, form up and destroy the renegades. How dare you? I am the Decepticons. I'm confused. Tell them about it. I kind of didn't make it to the tunnel. <laughs> I'll be a corpse, a corpse. You'd be more of a carcass because you're a robot. Uh, uh, uh. Who's shooting at us anyway? They're using some kind of repulsor field. Eh, a cloaking device. How very clever. Form up and fire in that direction. You will see it. I will explain it to you myself. Uh. Oh, get up. Uh. Many have died, but the plan, the dream, survive. Crikey, some kind of gun implacement. Then let's take it out. It's too big. They're in the tunnels, but not for long. Rakshi? Rakshi? <laughs> yeah. Good for you, after I shot it. Yeah, but we should return to the ship. We didn't even really see them. Ah! Oh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> I told you. We'll return to the ship and report to Dragonus. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It appears to be an ancient Decepticon. Well, I assume you're all better now. Turned out it was a flesh wound, I didn't know. I tried to tell you that. I'm assuming this thing is dead. It appears to have ceased functioning. Well, let's get back to the ship then. You guys were recovered from Cybertron. Report. Well, Draconis Prime, it was kind of a mess down there. Yeah, the neutrals were ransacked by other forces. They were sort of working their own agenda. Oh yeah, what agenda is that? With Optimus Prime and most of the leadership away, everyone can play. That's right, Prime and Mangus are on Earth. Leaves a planet relatively unguarded. It's not like we can guard it. It is not our job to guard it. Anything weird there for us to know about? Still looking for that ship, it wasn't there. It wasn't? Huh. We did not see the ship, but we did see the pirates. Apparently they got out of the ship and went to Cybertron. I still don't know why that is. But not able to figure out why. Ah, such a fuse, Dracodus Prime. Ah, the twin brother of the original discount guy. I do not have information on where they are now. Well, that's just great. We're going to remain here and keep an eye out. Yeah, there's no telling what's going on over there. They should not have left Cybertron guarded. Anybody can take what they want. But I thought they sent a little one there. Well, the weird thing is, she was sort of leading that pirate gestalt. Oh, yeah, I'm one of her gestalt forces. I also go by Chromia. No, I sure could figure that. Yeah, well, she was missing, and so was Nightbird. So they couldn't become a gestalt. Well, they wouldn't anyway with that space pipe going on. The leader one was helping the pirates. That's not like her. Maybe it's on pretending to be her. No, we don't know that for sure. Well, this would be weird to report to Prime about. Yeah, this is really strange. I... I wonder... You're wrong, there's more than you. I... I'm not wrong. As long as you sense something amiss. Yes, Neutral. What are you doing here? I join you and try to reactivate the attacker. A fruitless effort. Oh, this has actually created strange fruit. An abomination. I turn in scorn. Before me stands another like me. I am the universe. I alone am its destiny. I can sense the loss of affinity. The turning away of my gaze. Then I sense it, his greatest fear revealed. It fills my world and surges and overwhelms me. I glimpse the creator's will, his vision. It overwhelmed you too. Yes, it did. This is not to be the finale. The end game of this plan yet hatched. Then the unforgivable, the stripping away of all that is me. The I, no longer a word I've exclusive claims to. Your sense of self lost to time. We stand upon an icy world, a world just birthed in darkness. Therefore I know the universe is liege. The pangs of birth, emergence. I have no further words for the hated other. The other must come. I can give no answer, for only that that seeks to dominate the universe. You are me. They were all within my grasp, my capabilities. Are you certain? Do not underestimate them. I am a creator. I am destiny. We are leaves. Maximo. 
All shall be one. I am beyond it. Is this the next step in Decepticon evolution? I am the beginning. How? You are the beginning? How? I am the embodiment of the Liege. He's some kind of mutant. He is a Megatronus, one of the Thirteen Primes. I have been reborn. What? I know that you are destiny, the exiled Prime. My power over you is slipping now. Power over us? What? Yes, it is only because I wish it. I want you to capture a Titan. Capture a Titan? Yes, do this for me, so that I may return. He still is some kind of ethereal creature. He can't come back fully. What is this? I will reveal things to you after you capture the Titan. Okay. <laughs> what do we call you, anyway? I told you, I'm Megatronus. I'm Destiny. I'm the Liege. The Liege itself is coming here? Yes, and this time no force in the universe will stop us. <laughs> Uh, ah, what happened? Oh, I'm not sure. It appears that something is coming. <laughs> logic. Rational, pure logic. We do have feelings, you know. Oh yes, but logic is the basis of science. Certainly one of them. I have emotions as much as the next being, but it frustrates me. No logical way around that, is there? Ah, but what you told me before the report from the last mission... Ah, you are full of emotions. We can't simply duplicate our emotions. Are we really copying some pre-programmed emotions? I would like to think our sparks are more than programming. But wouldn't that be illogical? From minute-to-minute -minute interactions, it's the biggest problem we're facing. It's a coherent framework from which to view the world from. It's a way to sort out order from the dominant chaos of the universe. Decepticons decline to mold their behavior in, order, in accordance with morale. The Decepticons operate from a different ideology than us. Anyway, what other way is there? You mean like ideology-wise? I don't know. When emotions come into play, a sense of wonder can change a person. But wonder is not something the Decepticons have. They want only conquest. Maybe they do wonder if there's power involved. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. Even though there's a bond, I'm still hesitant to accept the Decepticons as allies. But nothing so concrete as intellect doesn't work here. Raw right, emotion will get us all messed up pretty quickly. What is going on inside Megatron's mind? Hmm. Which one? Yes, one of the Siege ones, or the Liege one. Cybertron wanted his brother Galvatron, as he called. I would have to look for evidence of truth in such an alliance. You have to look at the patterns of history of what's happened before. Despite all the miracles we've seen fighting alongside them recently, I cannot but wonder. Can we fight alongside each other? Only if an accidental strat would destroy us both. Then they would not negate anything from losing us. I'd like to think Megatron could change, but I doubt it. Nothing so concrete as intellect's working here. It's emotion. Intellectual interaction can change a person. Others are growing more and more convinced that it won't last. Not if emotion has anything to say about it. Dracodus Prime, you received my message. Yeah, what's up? There are so many things to consider here with Optimus Prime on Earth. Yeah, well, this kind of a crapshoot here. <laughs> what can I tell the others? I haven't even convinced myself. Oh, you do fine. I'm not worried about it. Probably should be a little bit. There's some weird stuff going on here. Well, we've been through a lot. <laughs> Exactly. The Decepticons can take advantage of this. Well, with no one to challenge it, our alliance is practically going to fall apart. You think the alliance is not going to work? Well, I have suspicions the Decepticons won't go along with it for much longer. There's something building here, Dracodus. Something dangerous. And we need to investigate it. In your years since your arrival to the solar system, I've helped you learn more about Megatron. Well, I have. He's tyrannical and insane, but darn clever. Are there ways to hold together this army just in case an existential threat did happen? Well, Megatron being one of the oldest enemies to the Autobots, who knows? What would Megatron even gain by trying to take the planet now? I understand your siege, Megatron, ahead, Cybertron. I die, I've always wondered where the G1 jet fire went. G11? He hadn't showed up yet. I was hoping the other Robotech rebels might lure him out. Maybe he comes and goes. Megatron in our universe has slain more friends than I can tally. Well, there's no hope for peace with the Decepticons wanting power and all. Will do, Prime. Well, nice talking to you on the comm system. You keep things in order now. Will do, Prime. Megatron walked by me and not give me another look. Maybe Megatron does not consider Mini Grimlock a threat. Hmm, maybe. I'm not even sure where regular Grimlock went. I'm no more diplomatic Megatron anyway. Yes, yeah, from the G2 timeline. Maybe he a lot like me and want Bruce Force. <laughs> Brutish does not equal powerful. It's really amazing as Optimus Prime himself doesn't see it. I'm sure he does, he just chooses to ignore it. You're Optimus Prime, maybe. 
My Optimus Prime is currently missing. Or are you the one that's missing, Jetfire? Maybe he just up and splits and Cybertron not answer calls. Absurd. Even Generations Prime wouldn't do that. I'm sure he has his reasons for remaining on Earth and sending us on the mission. <laughs> you think we can handle it? There's a lot of Autobots who have his emotions have blinded them to the big picture. What is big picture? Something big is coming. I can sense it. I have no, been known to be wrong, but never to admit it. You just sort of did. The troops talk to the Decepticons like they're friends now. Ridiculous. There's only a matter of time before somebody betrays that. Or someone exploits it for their own ends. Grimlock, you're a top-notch fighter, but sometimes I wonder if you've gotten a little over your head. I mean, Grimlock not over my head. You can see I, you know, Grimlock. Huh, I choose not to. I, huh? That reminds me of something, only I can't remember what it was. The Decepticons would never let me and my comrades switch side. Well, I can agree with that. So, I'll take Optimus Prime's orders, not Megatron. I'd be silly if you took my orders. Ultimately, this does not change things. Why would Megatron or anyone else even care? I don't think I would. It merely changed me, hardened by war. Weren't you just created like a year ago or so? My spark is ancient. Oh, really? <laughs> can we truly fight side by side against a common foe like in the great battle of Unicron? I don't think we can answer that. Hmm. Maybe not. I see you're discussing the Alliance. I have no understanding of the Alliance, Jeff. Yes, if the Autobots get in our way, I'll have to slay them. That's not part of the deal, is it? Despite our clashes in the past, I bear Optimus Prime no ill will. I understand, but I do not share them. Optimus Prime gives us freedom to decide. Even those has bound us in the past. Our differences remain. We must work together to overcome them. Working together might be difficult. I have vastly changed what I was, and now I have returned to what I am. I shadow bat bring news. The Fems and the others have no idea what we're up to. Yeah, we made sure of that from here. Are you sure we weren't traced? Not that I'm aware of, sir. Because it's possible our own people traced us. We'd use the Automates to get the ship here in the first place. The Titans will surely be alerted to our presence. We cannot allow the Titans to ruin our plans. Our plans in this universe coincide with other ones. Yes, Shadowback. I still say we have to take precaution. What is that? What is that? It appears to be a space bridge fold. It was blinking before, sir. Ah, and we didn't notice. The shapings of the protoculture have not been wise to you, huh? It, it cannot be you. Huh, it is me. And it is me. We thought we ditched you guys. Foolish one, you cannot run from us. No. <laughs> I suppose we're going to head back to Earth then and surrender. No, since we're here, why not just take the opportunity? You're taking command, sir. Darn right. What about the Femmes and the Warbirds, those on the planet and the other ship? What? They do not concern me now. I'm concerned about the Leech Maximo. The Leech Maximo is destroyed, sir. We have reason to believe it's not, and they fake their deaths to become famous. They did not fake their deaths to become famous, don't be stupid. Then why are they doing that, then? They're playing all sides in the Great War and hedging their bets. That may be coming here, our fates will be sealed again. It's happened before, and it will happen again. Ah, new BSG reference. And I reference something else. Resistance is futile. So where are we taking the ship? We'll wait a little longer to see what the Autobots and Decepticons are up to, and then leave in the anomaly. Masters, are we out to warn them? <laughs> no, we are not. So what do we do now? Remain in secret here until I give next orders. Aye, sir. You are bound. Yes, we were captured. But by who? Some sort of non aligned guys? Look like Decepticons? Whoever did this. Peripheral, if you're damaged. We should get out of here before they come and kill us. Assessing damage is muttering. Still combat capable. Have you considered the circumstances? Considering the circumstances, our only option is to wait. Are you nuts? They're going to come after us. Unlikely. Capturing us, they probably wanted to keep us alive. All right, good point. I have a security facility. None of us are free to move. All right, all right. I got in here. But you guys can get out. I assess our condition as prohibiting such an effort. Now, I don't like the odds, but let's do it anyway. Well, I guess we just wait. If we wait for Furfrel to come up with a plan, we'll be stuck here to the end of the universe. Wait for the Autobots to drop their guard or give us some kind of opening. How do you know the Autobots have? I don't. I'm just guessing they might show up. Some days you just gotta go for it. Yeah, but we gotta find some weapons. We're giant hunting Robotex, we can beat our way out. Yeah, I wonder how you two got captured. Let's move. Yeah, let's move. You're not authorized to copy my orders. Yeah, right. 
Maybe we shouldn't try to find a way out. Maybe we should f see what happens next. You want to stay here all of a sudden? The others will be dragged in here too. Maybe we can rescue them. Then it's settled. We stay here. So we wait for now. I'm not in command of the group. They think of a way to escape. I'm the only one that's part of a gestalt. I'm in command. Okay then, commander. <laughs> What is this place? A cathedral? A courtroom or a temple? I don't like what that implies. Well, what does it imply? Don't worry about it. Let's just roll with it for now. Creepy. I think that's the intention. They're not that much bigger than us. Ignore that. Pay attention, everyone. Listen to whatever they say. But not obey them. Hmm, I see. We should destroy them quickly. Your thoughts. Remember that I am spokesman for this group. Don't be too hasty. I bet these guys are hostile. They're hostile. We should dismantle them. Decimate them. Seems our two con friends over there have been brainwashed. Well, that somehow makes it better. You want them running loose on our world again. Suppose they should escape. Then what? You can see what damage they would cause. That is not the way. Your point is noted. May I remind the council that you were trying to seize our world. Your world. <laughs> is there anyone that would oppose the plan? Lysentius, you have examined them once. I think this is our last chance to talk them out of it. Very well, we should not have removed the prisoners. Guards, we should slice them open. They want to slice us open. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. You would speak with us. I were ordered to remain silent. Please, I humbly want an audience with your eminence. There is no logical reason for you to want one. Are you mad? Trust me on this one, okay? Grovel for her wanton, careless actions. You see the anomaly out there? A black hole is a peculiar sensation. This is more like a wormhole. A space bridge, a really big one. The anomaly, it's near the missing SDF ship. And if it were really a black hole, it'd be spaghettified into nothing. But she said it was a space bridge. Where did the eminence go? I don't know, but what are we doing here? It appears anomalies are happening on the planet. Alita, what's going on? I have the sensation of falling into the anomaly. Wouldn't she be destroyed? No, it's a wormhole. What are we doing here? Seem to no longer be under the influence of that thing. But somehow I was brought here. Peculiar. Where are the rest? They'll be around shortly. Uh, I think that thing was in my mind as well. Eh, but not in ours. I'm assuming then we're all free to go. Yeah, there's only two of us to guard you. Can't be the only maximum. He wields the scythe of destiny. It's more of a sickle. My short knives are cast from the same kind of material. Gives you an unfair advantage, Raxi. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, he's back. It is not necessary for me to control your minds, only your wills. The gravity of that anomaly could affect the planet. I don't think it's strong enough to do that. It is strong enough to take that ship. We should ward it away somehow. Unless the ship called for it. Called for it? How? There is a Robotech master aboard. Huh, is there? We heard Edwards could be there, but he's not a Robotech master. I'm not speaking of Edwards. He is a human, like you. So some ethereal force is controlling the anomaly. This Robotech master. Do not waste your time with this pathetic enemy's entertainment. Your eminence, what harm could come from learning from me? What better way than conversation? Well, what, how do we get here? What's going on over there? It would appear they have some control over our movements. Decepticons? No. What's ever controlling that thing is not a Decepticon. Dissect them? <laughs> Only to examine how you tick. Dissecting us wouldn't get the information. Are you sure that that's a wise answer? What about others like us? What about you humans, relatively new on the scene in space? We control vast armies with legions of followers. Are you threatening us? No, she isn't. She's merely bragging. What about if there's a war next time? If the liege came to Earth in force, it would be finished. I don't think she really means that. How can we stop war from happening again? I don't think you can stop it. It's inevitable. The humans would put up a defense. They are not machines. They would be wiped out. Is that a prediction or a prophecy? A fact. The humans in their weakened state during this pandemic would be no match for them. It would not be wise to stake your world on them. You would think it would be wise to re release our only prisoners from this attack. Listen, what you see is a fraction of our forces on Cybertron. What, youngling, you are ridiculous. You must release us immediately. What? Are you trying to bully me into releasing you, little one? You don't really know, do you? The only way to keep us from coming is to let us go. We could pass along to the leadership that our planet is not worth challenging. And release you simply on your promise? Surely not. You would have invaded our planet, fought our soldiers, and killed us. Nightbird, if you do not shut up, I will kill you. Now, hold on a minute. You are clearly confused, misguided. You are not worthy. You are lesser life forms. We are not lesser life forms. What right do you have to judge us like this? I was a prime. 
We hold no standard to our own, only to seek glory for our race. With might and intellect, I suspect Cybertronies wouldn't bother your planet again. The worlds of the Liege were decimated by similar anomalies and scattered. We learned the truth about you, like first-hand testimony. You let us go, and I'll tell our superiors not to come back here. Or we could kill you now, because you could be lying. And incur the wrath of Cybertron's armies? You're trying to survive. For this, I do not fault you. What are the chances they wouldn't return in force? You are trying to survive, but it is my people's belief you must be punished. We'll leave on our own with no fuss at all. True, but conquerors are a very rare noble breed. What do Decepticons know about being noble? Well, we consider ourselves noble. You're a symbol of what happened on Tracheus. You're anomalies. No, the real symbol are the dead Cybertronians on the battlefield. There's nothing compared to us the Liege hasn't killed. We would not come back after what happened. You humans do not know of our ages long conflict. Are you willing to risk wholesale slaughter? I won't have you released if there's nothing to be gained by it. You will now consider your foolishness. The results of your strategy remain to be seen. More results so far as your waiting has. An appropriate time has not arisen for us to escape. It's not going to. We're going to have to make our own opportunities. Don't you get it? Perhaps. But we must wait for the correct time to do so. Nightbird, I'd say talking to you is like talking to a wall. But the wall might take a fan. A highly illogical response. I think she did a pretty good job. It isn't performance that's the issue, it's her obedience. But Commander, what does that matter right now? We gotta do everything we can to get out of here. Discipline must be a constant, not a random variable. The dead have poor discipline. I'm doing all I can for you. You have to mock me and treat me like a child. You are a child. You were put online a moment ago as far as we're concerned. Yeah, we shouldn't fight amongst ourselves. We should save it for the bad guys. I don't like this. I want to fight. Sometimes it is best not to fight, but to wait. We'll wait for an opportunity. <laughs> like now. I want one of you for testing. I will go. No, you're the leader. I made my choice. I'm going. I need one of you to submit to testing. I will go. You will remain here. What? Are you crazy? They'll kill you. I am the commander, and I will submit to the testing. Excellent. It will be a test of whether you're telling the truth. What sort of test is that? The representative will learn as the testing occurs. She can't lie even to save her own hide. I will submit to the testing. What? No, you can't. You dare countermand my orders. She's not, but are you sure this is a smart idea? I will do it. You shouldn't be placing yourself in danger like this. She might have a point. If you die, the group's weakened. Do you still wish to submit for the testing? Yes, I do. Very well then. Guard, we've made a decision. She will be tested. Where are the Autobots? We do not know. Then I shall kill you. Then I shall die. That would be a foolish effort. You will be spared if you reveal where the Autobots are. But I cannot do that either. You have no other choice. I choose death. The Autobots can't help you. You sacrifice yourself in vain. Face the total strength of us. Their compassion is a disadvantage. I will not betray them. I will not betray the saviors. Saviors? They haven't saved you. We kicked the tailpipes in, in case you didn't notice. They shall rise again. They've come to stop your plan. They cannot, however. An illusion. A passing phase. It has been foretold. The Autobots shall come and be like the light gods and fight the dark gods. What? Your deranged flesh creature in the machine. They're not saviors. They're the robots just like us. They shall rise again. They've come to stop your works. Have you not fulfilled the forespoken words? The dark army shall come from the sky and ravage all before them. They will defeat the dark gods, and an age of fulfillment will be upon this world. Salvation. Slaying the dark gods. Huh. What possesses all of you? The flesh sling is clearly deranged. Rakshi, what are you doing here? An unsound mind is not fit for interrogation. We need another. The life gods have come among us. Do we risk their wrath? You'll be shot if you do not reveal the other's whereabouts. There will be a special place in the afterlife for those that die in righteousness. We'll gladly die for the light gods. The Autobots aren't gods. They're sentient machines like ourselves. It's foolish and irrational. And will only result in your deaths. You're a deceiver sent to make us betray the light gods. Hologram? <laughs> Apparently. Ah, I'm going to reprimand you when this is over. The blame for this falls on you, Kurt. No, none of you want to listen to me now that you're all together. This is not the time for a tantrum. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way out of here. Test hasn't started yet. She ruined it. We have to access your minds now. Open a portal for access. We're gonna go after your minds again. They can't get to ours. Yeah, we can force our way out and free all you, or we can stay here. And if, and if you were killed, I have all the methods you need, I hope. I'm not gonna jack into those guys. They'll take my mind. I really don't care. The test begins. Prepare yourselves. Do not fight the probe. Resistance is futile. How did it get to her? Maybe it didn't. Foolish Cybertronians, your technology is primitive. Ah, uh, 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 we are ready. Ah, uh, what are we doing here? 
I want out of this right now. You're not paying attention to me. Rachi, stop it. The Autobot. It has returned. It's just Jetfire. No, the Light Gods have sent an emissary. Uh, what, what happened? They took the secrets from your mind. Would that make me a traitor? No, it does not. Uh, not the holographic one, anyway. The probes just restored you. Did I tell them everything? Everything? I don't know. Does it make me a traitor? No, because your mind's blocked the probe. She's not really a hologram one. She's the real one. Fems, use your powers. Okay, let's do it. What happened to me? I feel stoned. What are talking about light gods for? The probe counteracted their hold on your minds. Which means we're free to go. This party's in a climax. I want some attention. You're not gonna get any attention. You almost ruined the mission. Ah, uh, I can't stand it anymore. Well, that insufferable robo-brat. Where do you think she's flying off to? I don't know, but we should return to our ship. We're totally free to go. Yeah, and I doubt that whatever mess with us is gonna stop us. But where have you been, Jetfire? A different force had a hold on me earlier. Oh yeah, what kind of force? Seem to be more like Primus than the ones you encountered. I mean, those light god things are real? Maybe it's more like programming. Maybe some kind of weird transformer fate. We may never know. Yeah, there's no more Decepticons back there. You mean that Leech Maximo guy was controlling this? It would appear so. One guy did all that. There are another strange forces here to deal with. I kind of forgot about that ship while we were arguing. Oh no, the Battle Fortress. Where is it? It and the Anomaly disappeared. Oh no. We're after a report back to Draconis. He will not be pleased. He will not be pleased. Oh, the shield's off, and now we're able to track you guys. Yeah, the pitch kind of force field up or something. Good, then let's get out of here. I will return to Draconis to ship with you. Very well then. Rack, she's not with you. Nope, she isn't with us. Where is she? She ran off after the four of us got together. She sort of blamed us for not letting us join the party. It wasn't really a party, it was a mission. A mission to recover that ship we couldn't actually get back. Yeah, about that. When we met up in this last story, things didn't go according to plan. You can say that again, nothing worked. Yeah, Draconis, they didn't follow any orders. Well, I've been known to bend a few orders myself. Draconis, they've done something bad. Don't encourage them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the ship? We don't know. Not even my headmaster, Lexius, knows. Oh, great. You actually lost on Miles Long Space Battle Fortress. We were, yeah, we did. We were too wrapped up having come back together and we're excited. Yeah, we were too busy, we were distracted and didn't notice. So, Alita One, why would you try to side with the neutrals to steal the ship? The technology was too advanced for the humans to have, so we took it. But the humans already have two other ships. Both of which were sabotaged. This was not in the name of the Warbirds, incidentally. No, our organization predates them by Eon. Since I was rebuilt into one of them only recently. Yes, yeah, some of the people in our ranks are new. We always knew you were the underground. Yes, the Femmes on Cybertron. To keep the humans from acquiring technology they cannot understand. Except that we managed to make Robotex, even though it's a different timeline. I think this is more of a paradox than anything. Don't be absurd, Buzz. Uh, our timeline isn't a paradox. Sort of is. They have siege people and bay people in it. And Combiner Wars. Technically, Power of the Prime's Combiner Wars. All right, all right, so it is a paradox. We'd almost have to figure out what's going on down there. Dragonus Prime, you're out of your mind. So I've been told. <laughs> well, back into the fire, I guess. We're too close to Fortress Maximus. Don't let him get sight of us. A little late for that, sir. Should we try to evade him? A miles long Titan. I don't think so. The Space Bridge Anomaly is just ahead, sir. Should we make a break for it now? Do we have coordinates on the other side? We have coordinates on the other side, sir. The beacon is ready, sir. The sensor nebula unit is active. Well, I don't necessarily trust that sensor nebula thing. Well, I think we can begin space fold now, sir. Yes, prepare the engines. We are being hailed, sir. Who knows we're here? Lady Hawk here. Edwards, stop what you're doing immediately. Huh? How do you know it was me? She's gonna trace our signal. You're on the Battle Fortress. I already know that. Yes, my destiny in the other timeline meant that I would be killed, but in this one it'll be completely different. Edwards, you and the other dissonance are gonna be killed when you meet up with the Maxwells. Nonsense. We will ally with them and become more powerful than ever. Yeah, because they know where the Masters are, and even the Invid too. We can't let you do this. How are you gonna stop us? Uh, the Titan has arrived. Nuclear, shut her off. Yes, sir. 
The anomaly is ready, sir. Rocket engines on fold system, engage! Dragonus, you came down here? I want to see what your guys are up to. We came up here to mop up in this arena the others discovered. And the Dinobots found this place too. Say, how did you some of you guys know about those events you weren't privy to? That's easy. When the probe landed, it broadcast everybody. Yeah, it's been like watching a TV program of it. Uh, like WandaVision? More like Beverly Hills 90210. Yeah, it even had a temper tantrum scene. Well, under the war zone, that's this place. Well, I don't think it's a war zone. It's, yeah, well, I think it is. I think I can reactivate the Dinobots. Well, then let's get to that. Let's begin then. I'm not sure they got in here and passed out, but... Something for us to look after later. Me Grimlock powerful. Well, that one white. Let's try the others. One or two of them appear to be missing. Send somebody out to look for them. Time to revive these ones too. Huh, it worked. Snarl and Chopper behind the wall. Have them rejoin the others in. Me Grimlock say we all together again. Now I wonder what happened to them when an incident with the mines being taken over. Me Grimlock not remember. Me Slag not remember either. Me Sludge not remember too. Me Swoop not remember what I'm supposed to remember. Me Sludge not know. Chop not care. Well, now that you guys are back together, we have to worry about what the, what the Decepticons are up to next. It's mind swapping and all kind of weird stuff going on. It was quite a distressing experience, Dracanus. Now don't doubt it. Whatever our next move is, we have to figure out what this liege thing is. I know about the liege Maximo and Centurio. What? You do? Yeah, the card are associated with them. Oh, really? If they seen one, then that could be trouble. He looked like that Destiny character. Destiny's supposed to be dead. This one was very much alive, Dragon. Well, that's just Prime. We got trouble, Zarek. What would that trouble be? The galaxy must be the Decepticon's domain, but you have not destroyed the Autobots. That's what's gone wrong. You will not succeed unless you found a foolproof way of destroying them. I had a way. You had one. But it got away. You lost it. Well, that's great. What, pray tell, was it? It was a dimensional weapon, but it's too powerful and it escaped. What? Whatever it was, you must get it back. I do not understand, but yes, you must get it. It was running an electrical surge. It allowed us to capture this one. <laughs> Megatron! You idiot. You let something like that get away? I didn't know it worked so well, sir. We did capture Fortress Maximus. You what? How? Spike wasn't in the thing. Cerebrals wasn't much of a challenge. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Maybe we hit him on the head too many times. Summon some of the Decepticons for an attack on the Autobots right now. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Decepticons. Finish them. I wonder what they're after. Clearly it isn't me, and that makes me mad. What the heck is wrong with you? Yes, it does not about you. Decepticons wouldn't come out in force unless they had some up their sleeve. We do. We want our space weapon back. Space weapon? What are you talking about? The Autobots would not admit to having such a thing. Something possessed some of us. It was probably Zerik's weapon. We assume it was Zerik's weapon. Surely the Autobots captured it and are using it against us. Destroy them. Decepticons, someone's playing us all for suckers. Huh. <laughs> Get rid of her. Uh... 
Decepticons, eliminate them. Fall back in the backstage behind the cathedral. The Autobots aren't fighting like they have the weapon. Uh, they've got Cerebros. What? We gotta rescue them. Autobots, prepare to face your doom. Yeah, because we have Fortress Maximus now. <laughs> well, that's just prime. Decepticons, finish them. Megatron, it's a trap. That guy's gonna possess you. Possess me? Why? Maybe he stole my weapon. Foolish Decepticon Headmaster. I did not steal your primitive weapon. He's some kind of alien being. Curse, he is the embodiment of Megatronus. Yes, the Fallen Ones were only my minions. I was a prime. Megatronus, how is it that we can see you? Zarek's toy was helpful, as was the SDF ship. He's some kind of demon creature. I do not fear these Maximo agents. Ha ha ha. Fool. He has the scythe of destiny. I am destiny. If that's true, then he's one of the four builders of Cybertron as well. I think you guys met this guy before, didn't we? Yes, we did. The human occupant in this Veritex not dead. We have to rescue the other humans and take them off the battlefield. <sighs> what do you want with us? I want peaceful coexistence. <laughs> Blind obedience to whatever you are. That sometimes helps, but it's not necessary. Decepticons attack. Predacons attack. Predacons attack. Dinobots, smash anyone that attack Autobots. Great, the Dinobots are here to crash the party. Smash Decepticons would be fun. Me snarl like big fight. Me Grimlock think they need better reinforcements than Siege. They kind of suck. Fire. Break them open. <laughs> Must get Scorponok to come and step on them. Destroy. Attack. You can't do that to my buddy, Grimlock. Me flip him. <laughs> Fire. Attack the Decepticons. Fire at will. Grimlock, you're not following orders. Me not going to follow orders no more. <laughs> this amuses me. <laughs> I don't care. Either does me slide. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, Decepticons. Well, they're distracted. Go to the Fortress City. Yes, and seize it for ourselves. Dinobots were best Autobot invention. Well built. Yes, they don't make them like they used to. Something's wrong with the Dinobots. You just noticed? Decepticons are going to bug out. I got Cerebros. He's still messed up, though. And I have Zack. Maybe this will distract you temporarily. Uh oh, that big one's planning something. Yes, he is. a strange planet or on some kind of weird holodeck. Me Grimlock think we should just leave the Autobots and go off on our own. Didn't we do that, leader? Me don't know. Me Flag thinks so. Me Swoops, the other Autobots are here somehow. Probably Decepticons too. Snapdragon, look over there, it's the Dinobots. I see them. Yeah, there you are. Mmm, Decepticon. Mmm, Decepticon. Yes, a creature transported us here. We flattened Decepticon. Oh, great. No. Grimlock, the Decepticon stole Fortress Maximus. We've got to return and stop him. Mmm, me not listen, Night Racer. Oh, come on, Grimlock. This is a strange planet we're trapped here. Yeah, we've got to figure out a way to get back. There's humans that are injured. But Snapdragon wants to fight us, make him martyr. No, me confused. Seems you're under the influence of them aliens. Are they aliens or ancient Cybertronians? If they're ancient Cybertronians, basically we replaced them. Yes, colonialism is a bitch. This place is weird, but someone's coming. Me swoop think we should fix whatever Space Bridge brought us here. Me no can fix Space Bridge. We only know how to destroy. If it is technically a Space Bridge and not the holodeck. The Fortress Maximus in our possession. The Decepticons will reign supreme. Heh, <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Oh, that weird funny looking witch doctor dude the back. Witch doctor? You silly Carter.
Big ugly bad guy thing take over minds, me not like. I'm a being of light. I'm Jetfire. Jetfire, the first time traveler in the space bridge. Uh-oh, it's Rakshi. Don't listen to this guy behind me. He's full of it. Rakshi, get out of there. You're only going to get hurt. I'm tired of listening to authorities. Foolish young yuling. You have given me an opportunity. Uh-oh. Yeah, it could be bad. Dragonus Prime, no! I don't need you for my minions. I merely do it to amuse myself. Predacon, leave this place or die. You don't scare me, you amuse me, but I will see you later. Where'd Draconis go? Where'd Planet go? Where we go? Where Let's get back to the ship and report and make repairs. But we were saved by him. Dragonus Prime, it's my fault he was taken. Yes, it is. No, you were supposed to have sympathy for me. What the heck is wrong with you, Rakshi? I don't know what's wrong with her, but we're back on Cybertronic and return to the ship. <laughs> Peripheral, I think she's deceased. Oh no. Well, that's too bad. Let's get everyone back to the ship. Rakshi, we're gonna have to pretend to arrest. Under arrest? Ah. Make Rimlock join you. Oh, now he wants to join us. Let's get back. a strange planet or on some kind of weird holiday. Me, Grimlock, think we should just leave the Autobots and go off on our own. Didn't we do that, leader? Me don't know. Me, Flag, thinks so. Me, Swoops, the other Autobots are here somehow. Probably Decepticons, too. Snapdragon, look over there. It's the Dinobots. I see them. Yeah, there you are. Mmm, Decepticon. Mmm, Decepticon. Yes, a creature transported us here. We flattened Decepticon. Oh, great. No. We're gonna have to rescue the Dinobots from that planet and Fortress Maximus. And Dragon is prime. We have no idea where he disappeared to. I think the Decepticons got him. Well, we neutrals are gonna have to do something about that. Incognito somehow? We're a little, little obvious to be sneaking around. Yes, Skyfire Jetfire. Yeah, by the way, it's cool that we finally get to meet. <laughs> I am quite thrilled. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Skyfire's a VF-1S. That's true, Lady Hawk. But there is a human flying you, right? Haha, <laughs> yes. What you want to really reveal yet? Now what are we going to do, Commander Elita One? Now that Regis Maximus has more realistic hands, we should form a pact. Hold on a minute, we're Cybertronians. Some of your forces appear to be missing. A lot of them are missing, Jetfire. You would call yourself Maxis Carta. I remember the Carta. Oh yeah, what happened to him? I'm afraid their fate was not very stellar, but this was a different timeline. Just who is the human occupant of that machine? I cannot reveal it yet, but we will find your friends. Then let's go for it. Huh. Where are we going? After that missing ship. I've isolated the ship's last known coordinates. Helm ready, Cat. Let's roll. Head full speed. She's aware this thing flies and doesn't roll, right? Ah, uh, I give up. How much time do we have? Down here, not much. Yes. Well, let's grab him and get out before the bridge loses integrity. Yes, it's a good thing we tracked the anomaly here. Kind of ironic it brought him right back to where they started. Yes, but significantly later. Well, only a little later, by I reckon. Uh, uh, what happened? Sensors offline. There's something really big on top of us. It's water, dummy. It's an ocean. An ocean? Yes, Edwards. You are on the planet Earth. But for us, all this time passed. We'll explain that later once we get you guys out of here. Yes, we've only come to save you because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. But you will be prosecuted. What? You're going to throw us in jail anyway? Or under the ocean? Where are we? 
off the coast of the Japanese archipelago, interestingly enough. Not far from Atari Island and Macross. Thanks for bringing the ship back. We didn't mean to. Uh... The integrity of the brain show is failing. We gotta get out of here. Yes, we borrowed this technique. I think I can make it work. Personal fall jump. Yes, activate it. There's a little time. What the heck? What am I doing here? I guess because you were coded as such, they sent you here. Coded by what? Indirectly referenced by sexual character. What does that even mean to a Transformer? <laughs> what is going on? Huh, <laughs> newbies. Yeah, it's gonna get crowded in here pretty soon. Uh, who or what are you? I was peripheral. I, I was Sunrunner. Wait a minute, are you one of the Lisa Hayes's? That doesn't make sense. It does, because I'm from a dropped timeline, which I am. A dropped timeline? Yeah, but you haven't introduced yourself. I am Bree, and that's Kicker. Kitty Key Bellerphone, you're alive. I am, and there's some confusion, confusion as to which Kicker I am, too. He just thinks he's alive, he's actually dead. He didn't explain that, right? And I tried, but it didn't work. Enough of this foolishness. Send me back right along. They shouldn't have sent either of us here, frankly. Come on, what's going on? Is this some kind of joke? Do you really think that we can just send you back, like in that Soul movie? Gee, if it was that easy, everybody would come back and be zombies everywhere. You're basing your ideology on a cartoon. Listen, lady, I am a cartoon. Arrgh.